structured elimination technique is, in my opinion, one of the most powerful of all techniques. Ten years ago, you couldn't have seen these things. Impossible. Organelles are responsible for keeping our cells alive. Their interactions usually keep us healthy, but sometimes they cause disease. In the laser analytics group at the University of Cambridge, researchers are using structured illumination microscopy, or SIM, to image organelles with super resolution. We can treat the diffraction limit and resolution as a low pass filter. Points spatially far apart, i.e. those at lower frequencies, can be resolved by the microscope. Points in the image too close together, i.e. at higher frequencies, cannot be resolved. The lower spatial frequencies which can be resolved can be plotted as a white circle, and those too high to be resolved as the black region. Shining light with a striped illumination pattern allows for interference between the light and the spatial structures of the sample, leading to so-called moiré patterns. These moiré patterns encode some of the higher frequency information about the smaller spatial structures that can't be picked up with a regular microscope. Rotating and phase shifting this light source produces more moiré patterns, which reveals new higher frequency information. From these multiple moiré patterns, the underlying sample structure can be reconstructed at two times the spatial resolution, since the low-pass filter has effectively doubled an area. Let's see this in the lab. This here is what we call the AFISIM system, which is a structured illumination microscope, which can image in three colours at once. The way that we're able to do this, which other systems can't, is by using an interferometer. The SIM microscope designed by the Laser Analytics Group uses a Michelson interferometer to produce two identical but separate beams of light that produce Young's interference fringes, the stripe pattern used to illuminate the sample in SIM. Light is incident on a galvanometric mirror and sent through a glass plate that splits the beam in two. The two beams are reflected by mirror pairs positioned at 90 degrees to each other, of which there are three, each forming an interferometer. The galvanometric mirror rotates, which allows the illumination patterns to be rapidly stepped and reoriented, which rotates the fringe pattern, enabling the organelle details to be probed. Here what you see is uh, what's called the endoplasmic reticulum, and you can see it's dynamically moving really quickly, and you would never see this detail with any other technique. You can look at things that are smaller than the wavelength of light. We are now beginning to actually see in real time with this method, with structural illumination microscopy, how these organelles are orchestrating essentially how the cell lives, divides and dies. SIM has real potential to allow us to see how the subcellular machinery is working.